I am, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to be here this morning. We've been working real hard on some great stuff that we can't wait to share with you. We've had over 25,000 people apply to the paid developer program where you can uh, actually download the apps to your phone, try them on your phone, debug them on an iPhone. And unfortunately, we couldn't take everybody, uh, so we admitted 4,000 people to the program. Now, I told you we've had a beta program going. The enterprise has participated in that beta program. As a matter of fact, 35% of the Fortune 500 has participated in that beta program. 35% of the Fortune 500. The top five commercial banks, the top five securities firms, six of the seven top airlines, eight of the 10 top pharmaceutical companies, and eight of the 10 top entertainment companies. Not so bad. Ethan Einhorn. Ethan? So back when we showed you Super Monkey Ball on the iPhone for the first time last March, our development team, Other Ocean, were able to create four stages from scratch in just two weeks of development time. Eight weeks after that event, they were able to give us 110 stages for the finished game, which is a tremendous amount of content for a handheld game. They were also able to give us all four of the classic monkeys. So we have Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby, and Gan Gan. <laughs> Today we're gonna play as Baby. There are five distinct worlds to play in. And last time we showed you the first world, Monkey Island. This time we're showing you the last world, Space Case. And the reason I wanna show you that is because it's a terrific opportunity to demonstrate just how well the tilt control can keep up with the game's most intricate challenges. As you can see, this is a pretty tricky stage that Josh is trying to get through. And to be able to do it, he has to be able to accelerate, decelerate, and turn with pinpoint precision. The iPhone's accelerometers gives him the ability to do that. It's called Mobile Me, and I'm gonna ask Phil Schiller to come on up and tell us all about it and give us a demo. Phil? I'm gonna come over here to an iPhone. I have one conveniently set up for you to see. I'm gonna wake it up. Now you can imagine I'm out and about and somebody sends me an email. The emails will get pushed immediately to your phone using push technology. I tap on that email, there's that new email. Tap on it to read it. And so I got pushed this email. It's inviting me to lunch. You know how great email works on the iPhone if you have one. I can just tap on that link. That link will take me to Google Maps to show me where that restaurant is. I can tap on the blue button to get more information. I could call the restaurant right from here to make a reservation. I could go to their website with a Safari browser to check the menu. What I'm gonna do now is save this for later on from when I need to go. So I'm gonna create a new contact. So I tap create a new contact and save that to my contacts on my phone. So we just checked a pushed email and saved a contact on the phone. Let's go back to the computer. I'm gonna log back into mobile me and there's that email. The email that got pushed to the phone also got pushed to everywhere I access mobile me, and it's up here. It even has the correct state. It's already been read because I read it on the phone. More interesting, if I click on my contacts, there's that restaurant contact that I created on the phone. Today we're introducing the iPhone 3G. We've learned so much with the first iPhone. We've taken everything we've learned and more, and we've created the iPhone 3G. And it's beautiful. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's even thinner at the edges. It's really beautiful. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice. Solid metal buttons the same gorgeous 3.5 inch display, camera, flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like, <clears throat> improved audio, dramatically improved audio, 
It's really, really great, and it feels even better in your hand if you can believe it. It's really quite wonderful. The iPhone 3G. Oh. Same phone, same location. 3G 2.8 times faster. One of the things we're also really proud of, though, is we're doing this with great battery life. For the iPhone 3G, the battery life, the standby life, or the standby time, we've pushed to 300 hours of standby time. 2G talk time, we've been able to move up from 8 hours to 10 hours. On 2G talk time, these other, th or 3G talk time, excuse me, these other phones have 3G talk time in the three to three and a half hour range. We've managed to get five hours of 3G talk time, which is really an industry leading amount of time. We're very pleased with this. Browsing, five to six hours of high speed browsing. Video, seven hours. And audio, we've managed to get 24 hours of audio. So as an example here, we're going to drive down. We recorded this on Lombard Street. Lombard Street's a fun street in San Francisco that zigs and zags. And here we are driving down Lombard Street, and we can actually track as we move using GPS. So it's kind of fun. You get the idea. <laughs> so, built-in GPS and much, much faster so, data. So, our stretch goal was 25 countries. We're going to be in 70 countries this year. We think we can check off more countries. Which brings us to more affordable. You know, the iPhone started off at $599 for an 8 gig iPhone. It now sells for $399 for an 8 gig iPhone. And we want to make it even more affordable. And I'm really happy to tell you that the iPhone 3G is going to sell for $199. At, at just $199, we think the iPhone 3G is going to be affordable to almost everyone. And that's for the 8 gig model. The 16 gig model, just $299. And for the 16 gig model, we also have something special. We have a white one. It's also very beautiful. And we're going to be rolling out the iPhone 3G at the same time in all of these countries. And we're rolling it out on July 11th. Let's go ahead and run the ad. It's finally here. The first phone to beat the iPhone. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone 3G. Isn't that nice? You want to see that again? Let's roll that again. I love this ad. first phone to beat the iPhone. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone 3G. So thank you very much. I'll see you this week.